survey for HWA in winter and spring when they look like small, cotton-like woolly masses on hemlock twigs near the base of the needles where they feed. Hemlock's response to wounds created by the HWA cut off nutrient flow, limiting new growth, which is a first indicator of infestation. Needle loss often occurs years after infestation as the tree slowly starves from lack of nutrients and water flow. Damaged hemlocks are also more susceptible to other pests which may attract woodpeckers, as you can see in the image here. This year, we searched 12 sites and 57 HPAs for HWA, and we found no signs of this invasive insect. We did find signs of other native hemlock pests and HWA lookalikes, including spider egg sacs, skeletonizing caterpillar cocoons, the Cerococcus shoot blight caused by the fungus Cerococcus sugae, and needle miner larvae, as you can see in this video. We'd also like to thank all of our volunteers for helping us search for HWA populations throughout our region. We currently have 37 volunteers who have been trained to recognize and report IMAP HWA detected and not detected observations. Early detection for invasive species gives a strategic advantage for rapid response and management initiatives. Help us protect your lands and waters from invasive species and volunteer with us. Visit our website for more information.